So at this time, I'd like to introduce Billy Davis. Uh, like Coach is saying, uh, football has been such a big part of our lives, and that's how we got together. Now it's part of your lives. Obviously, you guys are uh, in year two under new coaching staff. I'm in the first two weeks with the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's funny, one of the things that we're kind of going through is a defensive staff, and we're trying to find out what our players do best, what schemes we can run to, to, to maximize their talents, a lot like your coaches did a year ago with you guys. They didn't know you. They came in. They had a system. They had to teach you. You guys had to learn that system. Wasn't the greatest year for you. That happens. That's part of that's part of the growth of an organization or a team. All right? I just spent the last couple hours with your coaching staff. You guys are doing some great stuff. They, I learned some things today. What your staff has put together. You've got great coaches here. You're in year two of your scheme. It is not as much up to your coach's job to teach you. If you guys are into football, it's your job to know your job and do your job. If you love football, you'll add, you'll do, you'll, you'll work harder at it. It's not okay to not know your defense. It's not okay to not know your offense. You can't just say, okay, well, the coach will teach me that later. Guys, right now, we in the NFL are in the process of the combine coming to a pro days and interviewing players individually. And the first thing we do to them is we say, hey, here's your defense or your offense, draw it up for me. Draw up the D-line, draw up the linebackers, draw everything up. You wanna play in the NFL? You gotta know it all. It's more specifically, you better know yours. So as you guys grow here, and as you guys think about, hey, someday I do wanna play in the NFL. I do have that aspiration. <laughs> well, first of all, it starts here. And it starts one day at a time being all in with football. Right now, we just had a long meeting in Philadelphia Eagles, and we said, what kind of guys are we looking for? Number one thing that came out of every coach's mouth, we want guys that love football. How do you find out if someone loves football? Well, it's real simple to us. Guys, we go and ask them, draw your defense, tell us your technique, tell us what you know about the defense you just ran. And the guys that love football, can draw it like you wouldn't believe, like a coach can draw it. They know it, they've studied it, they love it. And it shows by how hard they work at it. Then there are the guys that draw it kind of, sort of, maybe one position, maybe just a little. And right away we say, you know what? He didn't put extra time into that. He didn't care enough about it. So if you guys are looking to go to the next level, like I think everybody does, first and foremost, only 1% of you will even get an opportunity. Very few of you will get an opportunity. So what's that come back to? Education and your degree. Number one, guys, you can, you, can, you can dream about the NFL all you want. Get that degree. Even if you get in the NFL, I've got, this is my 21st year in the NFL. Most of the guys that I've coached have only played that they got to the NFL, they've lasted three years. So the guys that make it, 1% of you make it, you make it three years. The rest of your life, that education kicks in. So make no mistake, education first. Okay, secondly, you love football and you want to go study your football. Now the last part I want to talk about, guys, and this is the best part. This, your four years in college are the best years of your life, I'm telling you. We had a great time in high school. Wish we could have played college together. Played college with Coach Meyer, we had a great time. Right now, here's the deal. You guys have this group of men are gonna go play the Big Ten next year. And to the degree that you are successful will be how quick you come together. You guys gotta enjoy each other. You gotta love each other. You gotta play for each other. If you guys know your assignments, know your playbook, play for each other and play hard, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you, guys. But it's the teams that get fractured and get individualized and somebody wants to go play pro, so he's going to do it different than the coach asked him. This group of guys think it ought to be different than the coach is asking them. You get it. You want to win, and you want to enjoy the moment. Enjoy this season. Come together. Have each other's back. Work harder together. Coaches are done with you. Go meet on your own. Go work out on your own. Come together, and you guys will succeed. I'm telling you, I'm very excited about what the staff taught me today. 
I'm very excited about what you guys have going here. You're in year two now. That's a big difference. Now you're coming together. So hang together, stay together. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you, but guys, it's your choice. It's your choice how good you're going to be. And, 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 and make it about how hard you work. The last thing I want to touch on is all these interviews I'm doing with these, the players that are coming out. I'll ask every one of them, are you a leader? You know, how I've, got, I've got in 21 years, zero guys have said, no coach, I'm not a leader. Everyone says I'm a leader and it's almost every time. I've probably met three or four leaders. And what is a leader? I ask you guys, okay, if you let, give me an example of how you led. I'm gonna tell you how you lead, guys. And I don't care who you are and what your packing order is. But leaders on the team, when they see something that's not right, instead of about it, they address it. There is nothing wrong with you telling the teammate, hey, you're screwing up off the field. Hey, you're not, you shouldn't be going down this road. That's a good friend, that's a good teammate. It's a leader. A guy that's not working, or you find somebody in the locker room that's always about what the coach is saying or complaining about this or that. A good leader steps aside and said, no, we're gonna do this thing together. Guys, I've coached for 21 years and I've coached probably 12 different defensive schemes. All different words, all different ways to do it. That's not an issue. It's how 11 guys play together to cross the big white line, right? When you cross that line and leave your coaches on the sideline, now that's the team, that's the unit. And if you'll play together and for each other and play 11 as one, you'll win and you'll win big. That's all your challenge is, guys. It's not that complicated. Play your techniques, know your assignments, have your eyes on your keys, listen to your coaches, work harder at it, Lead each other, don't let a teammates go astray, and it'll be a great four years, guys. It'll be, you'll win, you'll have friendships. These friendships in here last a lifetime, guys. You, you will be old, you'll be, you'll be hanging out with them and their children. I'm telling you, it's a great experience. I appreciate, I know you guys got work to do, probably working <coughs> along already, but thank you guys and good luck.